Hello everyone. So let us talk about this lead code problem is subsequence. So you are given two strings s and t. You need to return true if s is a subsequence of t or false otherwise. So what is a subsequence? A subsequence of a string is a new string that is formed from the original string by deleting some of the characters without disturbing the relative position of the remaining characters. Okay, so if you see this example, we are given two strings S and T. Now over here, we have to check whether A, B and C are present in this string T and they should be in the same position. Okay, they, not, they may not be consecutive, but they have to be in the same position. So if you see the, over here, A, B and C, they are present and there are some characters in between which we are allowed to delete okay so uh, let's consider some example we'll consider the same example and see what is the approach so we have s is equal to abc and we have t is equal to let's say a then b g h c and d okay we can consider this example all right so what we need to do is we need to traverse uh, string s and traverse string t and check one characters at a time okay so first we'll take uh, a pointer on the s string let's consider it as i and we'll take a pointer on the t string we consider it as j so when i is equal to 0 over here a and over here when j is equal to 0 a we check whether this two uh, on the zeroth index whether the characters are same if the characters are same then we increment the position of i and we go to the next string and simultaneously we increment the position of j okay now again we have found that both the uh, characters are same so we increment the position of i we come over here now and then we increment the position of the j as well so we come over here now the characters are not equal okay so what we need to do is we need to go and increment the position of t, uh, t over here j so we come over here we see and again we can check whether c is equal to h no c is not equal to h then we go ahead and we check whether c is equal to c yes c is equal to c so we need to increment the position of i and j now when, when we increment the position of i it already crosses the length of this string okay so now what we need to check is whether the length of this string a, uh, s is equal to the counter i over here if they're equal that means we, we are able to get a subsequence over here okay otherwise you are not able to get a subsequence okay so let's just consider one example wherein we are not able to get a subsequence okay so let's say we have s which is equal to a b and we have t which is equal to x y and z okay okay so we consider i and j as our pointers initially i is equal to 0 okay and j is equal to 0 okay so we check whether a is equal to x no it is not equal to x okay so then we increment the counter j we don't increment the counter i because we have still not found a character a in the string t okay so we increment the counter j to 1 okay and then we check whether a is equal to y no it is not equal to y so we increment the counter of j to 2 and then we check whether a is equal to z no it is not equal to z now we cannot go further in this loop y because we have already crossed the number of characters for t okay so that is why at the end when we will check whether uh, whether the length of the string s is equal to the counter i it is not equal that is a we return false over here in this situation okay so let's just write the code and see how it works 
all right so let's initialize i and j okay now we need to run a loop so while i is less than equal to s dot length and and j is less than or equal to t dot length okay we'll have to just say s dot length okay so three so we'll have to say less than because uh, we have a zero based uh, indexing over here because we are using inj as zero okay so what do we say so now we'll say if s of i so on the ith position for string s whether it is equal to the jth position of the string on the for the string t if that is true then we increment the value of i okay otherwise we'll have to always increment the value of j why because we have not found uh, the character over here for s in t so we are just incrementing the value of j over here okay so now let's uh, okay so now what we can do is we can just say return s dot length is equal to i so if this is true that means we were able to uh, get all the characters in s uh, in t so t so s was a subsequence of t okay so let's just run this and see whether our test cases pass okay so we got an acceptance on the test cases let's uh, submit this okay so we got an acceptance 